This is for the Star Battle. This is for the Star Battle EU6 Freelancer Tournament Day One, the group stage. Now, I'm sorry for the munchies, guys. When you have a dog and you have to take dog sitting, dog comes first, your lunch comes second. <laughs> Man's best friend demands all of man or woman's attention. Okay. And here we go. So we have team spawning in the Terran position, double battle, double battle cruiser, guardian, raven, and a destro. And just so I'm right, the team with Jim on it is the Space Bunnies. The Space Bunnies are spawning at the bottom. At the top, we have another double six in carrier. Wow, I'm casting a lot of these. Uh, Pod BC, Constitution, uh, Leviathan, and Double Destro. Lots of, um, my impression, lots of double, double six in carrier these days. And here we go. So we've getting a bit of coordinated launch because we have a couple of launching ships. Just helping get that upper edge over Xanthius for Mr. Guododd. And the pods are coming in really handy. One BC's pods. Double BC pods actually. Which is a little bit which could be useful because it's just turns out perfectly because they have the double six cent launch. Double pods is going to be very, very useful. Sorry for the crunchy noises, folks. I'm num numbing on to toast. Okay. Toast is very healthy. Anyways. So, more of a push by dexterity. Now, with the double, the double destro. Double destro is pretty cool because and both these guys opened reinforced hull, which means they're going to be very, very hard to kill. But double destro, it's really a heavy advantage. You have a lot of pushing power. One destro's shields get down. He goes back. The other destro, which is which is good enough on its own to help push, can push while the other one regens, and they can just swap. So two of them is greater than some of its parts. So we got to push here, and ooh, cut just cut in a little bit too much. And uh, but it's okay because no one's really trying to go for a kill at this point because everyone's still pretty high up in their shields, etc. And Dexterity knows that there's an EMP still for Shadow. More pods. And Megold is getting left alone completely. Let's check the farm count. <coughs> for the Space Bunnies, 458 farm versus 484. So still pretty even at this point. Though Dexterity is coming a little bit ahead. Just coming forward a little ahead. And both these BCs, they opened the energy open for our pods. The alternative opening is for range pods, which can be useful also for helping to kite. Even though you don't have the initial missile upgrades, you can still, um, even though you don't have the initial missile upgrades, you can still actually kite fairly well with it, which would have been really useful against these Destros. But regardless, more energy means that they can pod more often. User joined your channel. And a bit of a push here. User left your channel. Guys, stop joining my channel. <laughs> Anyways. No, it's fun. I don't don't want to say hello to you, but not during game. Anyways. So again, bit of push. Hammerstein's just getting hammered. <laughs> Hammerstein's just getting hammered by two destros. And look at this. They're still pretty well off. We've got most of their hull, though no shields. Though note though with Shadow as a Raven, he can do a lot of saves with D Shield. He can go PD he can go PDDs to help negate a lot of this DPS, etc. etc. So lots of options. Looks like Mr. Guodo I can't say Mr. Guode Mr. Guode is trying to push around. There's a threat of a warp trick. Yep, they're warping on him. It's not gonna actually well be an official warp trick per se. Guode should keep pushing. No, don't be greedy. Okay, guys, if you're a warp point, don't be greedy. Don't go for the farm. Go for the positioning, because the rest of the team is warping on you. All right, slash lesson. Anywho, so we've got the dexterity just pulling back, because they've got, they've got some minerals that they can upgrade. Armo's doing a bit of a better job farming. Let's take a quick look at the farm camp, folks. So five, 600 farm for space bunnies and 712 farm for dexterity. That makes sense because they dexterity was down by 
the pris nearish the prisms. And Shadow should be doing some transferring. If you're a Raven and you're not in danger of being launched, you should be transferring. Transfer. Transfer. Okay, EMP is good, but shift click. Transfer. Okay, that'll happen later. But there is a risk, of, like double six and carry, there's a risk of being sniped. There could be a risk of being sniped off later, so Shadow could be just being cautious on that. There's the shield transfer. So Arrow's just getting pounded here, slowly but surely, by our four tent for armor, possibly probably armor tent levy. And here's the call to go back, but this isn't going to be a very effective upgrade. Take a look. Not a lot of minerals on all these players. And who was that talking? That was Jim, possibly warning about a warp trick down here, which is true. It happened. Saw the warp trick coming, saying, guys, follow this safe path out of here. Nice double pods. A waste of double pods, but nice pods nonetheless. Cleaned everything up very nicely. And let's see what they got. The carriers came out both with no lasers, but more but more ints on the two of them. Hammers. Dark Sense has scan, so Dexterity has scan. Oh crap. Take a look at this, guys. Bad, not so great positioning by the Destro. They could be losing one Destro you could be losing one of their Destros here because pretty much everything's on top of it. Gold, why'd you go back? There's a levy there, but you gotta keep up the DPS. But there's a, this is a long rundown period and this is the advantage. You catch someone further back, if you stay in range you can just keep pushing them. But they're able to repel. Now they're worried about the Raven Shadow, because Shadow is going to get sniped. That's that's what Xanthus was doing. He was hanging in the back, trying to go after one of the vulnerable ships. And there goes the Raven. There goes Shadow. So first casualty of the day. May we have a moment of silence. Guys, moment of silence. You're still fighting. There's a moment of silence for the first person to die. No, okay. Not happening, but I'm sure that uh, space bunnies are thinking, crap, we lost our raven. That is going to be a big problem because they lose part of the effective energy deny, they lose the, de they lose the D shield, they lose the PDD, so there could be a problem here. So let's take a quick look at the farm count. Double launch on Bockades. Oh crap, that's going to hurt a bit because he doesn't have energy for pods. 668 farm for the bunnies and 974 farm for Saturday. That was because when the raven was killed. Oh, also double check the leaderboard. Xanthus is the levy is doing very nicely at 250 right now. Uh, Mr. Guad is not Mr. Guad. I'm sorry, not doing so well. Uh, is a levy needs to get more farm, get more OP because he is going to end up having to carry his team for the late game solution. And he's trying to push Xanthus. So it looks like Mr. Gold is doing going for mobile. Xanthus looks like he was going for armor tent because of the risk of the raven earlier. Now, of course, not in such an issue. He can go to bile if he wants. And a warp and push. So what have we got? Lasers and speed on the BCs. Destro Naz Bar Naz Barrage. Maybe thinking of a trying to finish off those kills. There was that earlier push earlier. They weren't able... That earlier push. <laughs> Double earlier. That earlier push, they weren't able to make a kill. And the Levy is just trying to farm it up. And we have a warp point. I don't know if... Did he see him? He may not have seen him. Is are the bunnies going to know they're pulling back? They probably suspect a warp trick because when you don't see anybody at the front by the prisms, suspect a warp trick. And here's how it's going to play out. This is a nice angle by Xanthus. He's just going to go straight for the kill, straight for the jugular. Scan by Dark, Dark Sense, just Dark Sense, just saying where are they? And Bakay should not have done that. You don't try to take a pot shot because you know that the team's going to try to warp on. on it looks cool trying to get off that shot, but then you're at risk of dying, and BCs are particularly vulnerable. Hammerstein's going back into cover. Bombard just trying to push the back the other Destro. Not super effective. 
Xanthus is hurting, but that's okay. He's done his job as a warp trick point. He has rapid regen, so he's going to be back in the field very shortly. Both carriers warping in. More ints, 9, 11. Xanthus now has big 10 tents. You don't, definitely armor tent. Don't want to get in ne right next to him. Sort of like the Ultralis. The Ultralis is like, I just want to be hugged, and he moves his arms. And the Leviathan's like, I just want to hug everybody. I want to reach out to everyone around me, and it doesn't work. So, the bunnies are pulling back. These are going missiles for more DPS. I don't think that's so wise because they had the levy to provide that DPS. BCs should be going more energy into their pods to counter these imps which have been harassing them. Mind you, they do have two pods. That's not so bad. And this is my newbie opinion, which I'm sure my clan leader and all my clan mates and everyone else in the Star Battle community is going to correct me on right after this. But hey, that's fine. That's how you learn. Quote is just going, <laughs> Mister. I'm just gonna call you Mister. Mister, you're Mister. You're the Mister Leviathan. Mister is just farming up on the side, using his using his mutilus to help grab that extra farm. N another warp trick. Wow. I wonder in the other games they use as many warp tricks, but hey, if it's super effective pushing them back, do it again and again and again. Rinse, repeat. Uh, don't leave the shampoo in for more than five minutes. But I don't think Leviathans need shampoo. Maybe more skin oil. I don't know. You should see a doctor. That thing on the back doesn't look so healthy. Hammerstein is going to get caught. Bunny's pulled back, but the whole team is here. Eleve just 11 ints. Pod scan. Nice launch, but they have double pods. First BC, and then the second, and cleans up that launch. But again, it wastes the energy on the BC. Not that they're going to be using it for anything else. And it can provide a nice area effect TPS. And Xanthus is coming in. He's starting to look more beefy now. He's got 325 energy, rapid regen, as well as the 11 so anyone who's nearby, he's just going to be pounding like that. And the Bombard really want to push Hammerstein back. Maybe go for a kill? Don't think it's happening. Bison's been going needle spines. A little bit of almost oh, some range spore. Now this is a problem for the bunnies, but first let's take a look at the farm and see what the picture looks like. 1100 farm for the bunnies and 1540 farm for dexterity, so they d were able to pull ahead. They're now 400 ahead in farm. The bunnies are trying to hold in. They're may maybe trying to set up a warp trick, or nope, they're just going to push out normal, try to get the team away from farming at the prisms. And all these guys are getting quite fat. Double check again, the farm, the farm board. Xanthus looking at a very nice healthy 400 farm. And again, the levy in the bottle of the levies, the bunnies have a problem here. Because in a levy versus levy matchup, Xanthus is going to win, and he's starting to get more health upgrades. So not only do you have to hit more times to kill, but he also regens faster. And also remember, Leviathan armor applies to the entire health of the Leviathan, so they can get very, very tanky. What was that? There we go. Bombard just trying to push him back. Nuke on J by Jim. Again, that wasn't to make a kill, but maybe not going to happen. It fizzled out in time. That was just, that will push the team back. But then look, they'll just come circling right back again. The carriers are healthy. Dark Ends is pretty healthy. Uh, they, these guys could be a little better. They don't have any shields, but hey, it's not too bad. They can alternate. And Xanthus got, has, doesn't have any energy, but he's beefy and he can take on Mr. Leviathan. Bison saying, hey, I'm going to join this. Bit of a miss on the pods there. To be honest, I'm not so awesome at pods. I'm practicing, but it's not so great. The worst thing is, is you reflexively see a stream of ints come nearby you, and then you pod it, and you realize it was your teammates. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like... Should I say something? Did they notice? 
Or do I just let things be? <laughs> Another thing, but look, there's some the full on full up on energy. And they can just pod the crap out of everything. I would say Dark Hunt's the next move, maybe to get locked down, because if you can lock down the BCs, deny them energy, then there'll be much more the whole team will be much more vulnerable to the double carrier launches. Oops, Dark Hunt stopped there, but he was far enough back and wasn't gonna cause an issue. Yeah, and our Levy versus Levy matchup is not looking so great, but Mr. Levy is going to just have to hold on his own because the rest of his team has enough to handle being 4v5. Now, I don't know why Bach Hades went for six lasers. Should have put that towards energy for more pods rather than the lasers because that's even though it helps clean things up the pods will be more effective another nuke but is this going to catch the destro he was almost on top of it the destro tengu is 1.6 so unless it's really close this may or may not hit we're going to get a kill it looks like we are going to get a little fart at the back of the ship okay a little explosive fart yeah when it's 1.6 you have to yeah, I'd say they, this team, if they want to go nuke, they should go double nuke and nuke from more than one side. But right now it seems like it's more defensive. They don't have a carrier, so what else are they going to do to push them back? A friendly Leviathan is not so scary. They need, um, nuke is basically the only real deterrent to help buy themselves some space. Xanthus is just taking them on like a boss with his backup coming in. Okay, no, just more armor by the BC. More armor on the Darkens, just so he can stay on the front lines. Okay, I can see with that. Carrier warp in, text, failed text. <laughs> yeah, warping, texting as soon as you warp in is a little tricky. <laughs> Again, I'm just learning. To, I'm just learning to text myself, but you really shouldn't. You should try to text on the ship or next to him. Not. It's risky to assume he'll move into it, especially when a whole team's warping in. So naturally, everyone's going to go away from them. They're going to go away from you. So. Yeah, the text is not going to land there. So it was only just a single text, 14 ints on cut. Armos, just 12 ints now. Let's check out the farm, folks. Who is the farm? There we go. I would love to say you implanted the thing so specs could see the farm. Anyways, 1400 farm for the Spud Bunnies, 2100, almost 2200 farm for Sarity. So this is going to be a problem, folks for the bunnies. They're going to have to try to either pull a hat trick with perhaps a surprise nuke, make a kill. Maybe Dark Hens is may or may not get sniped here, but they can snipe the B if they can snipe their BC, carrier would be good. Actually killing anything would be good. That Leviathan's not going to go down anytime soon, so focus on the weaker targets. So this would be Dark Hens. But he has 9 armor. He's not as weak, so perhaps the carrier but one without text. Text is back up in a minute, folks, so Dix may, may try again. What do the Destros have? Protective field barrage and protective field double barrage. Just for the just for the folks at home, what does barrage do? I oh, sorry, <laughs> barrage bombardment. I confuse the two. Whatever. Thing that makes the ship stop, <laughs> but you can cancel it. So four hundred damage per over five seconds, basically a bunch of shells. So basically a lot of damage. That scares people away. And another push by the bunnies. Or actually I was told to call them the rabbits. What oh text by Armo. Nice text. Three ships in this text. The Destro, Leviathan, and the BC. And the other BC, now, if you're desperate, you slip into the text, and that may be safer, because then at least you're with your teammates. No nuke on these guys. Now, the bunnies, if they have nuke set up, no nuke is still, no, they used the nuke just recently, so no. I may have missed that one. I don't hear the notifications. They can't push the team back. That would have been the ideal time. Everyone's hurting. And Xanthus is saying, I'm staying on top of you, and I'm going to give everyone here a hug, because I'm just that awesome. And I'm a sweet guy. Wait, why are you running away from me? I want to give you guys a hug. I'm trying to touch you. Wait, no. Stop running away. 
and Burns and Bach burns down and the bunnies say for Sparta for the rabbits for Bugs Bunny and they are not gonna make this Bison's just trying to Bison and Jim and Meester there's all that's left last stand so just for completionist sakes let's look at the farm count there we go and I miss Xanthus death again I think it's not a tournament casted by me if I don't miss someone dying but Xanthus did it for good cause <laughs> because now it's 3v5 but if it matters for points that's really bad he was the highest farm ship on Dex's team and he could have pulled back more so that's why the bunnies committed so caught it afterwards and afterwards analysis perhaps not a bad trade two for one but the levy is so strong and they they were it was the main source of DPS everyone else was just a sideshow to keep everything going aside from the ins but they're not that high yet so we have 1100 farm for the bunnies and 1900 farm for decks so bunnies are actually sort of back in the game a bit dark Hands is way out here probably gonna act as a warp point scanning making sure did anyone see me but the bunnies are sort of being cautious they're not pushing too far possibly seen by the farm do the bunnies see him Oh, double scan, so they know he's there. They may try to cut up on him. And see, guys, in Star Battle, just when everything looks dire, things can happen. Now, his team's going to warp on him because they've got to get, they've got to protect Gar Dark Hens. Tex is up, and I imagine that if Dark Hens is real dangerous, he, a Tex will go down. Single Tex, 14 and 18 ints. So even though they lost, a sh even though they lost the levy, they're going to show that even though Xanthus was a really caring guy, trying to hug everybody, they won't forget him. I would like another moment of silence. And they're still lobbing missiles at each other. I don't have much face with the human race, or the Protoss or Zerg or Terran race. Alrighty. <laughs> but again, look at this: three v five, easy contain. And Meester is now quite happy because he's got uh, arm he's got copy armor tents. Now Bile would have been better in my opinion, except they need an anti they only have one BC, they need the anti ints. Cause Bile would have been better because then he could kite. As it is, you gotta be careful about how you kite. He's taking too much laser damage from that Destro. Farming it up, everybody, and they st and Dex still has Tex. They still have Tex, so if they get pushed too hard, pop a Tex down. The only possible deny is from Jim, and Jim doesn't even have lockdown. So they do, and well, Dark Ends does have lockdown. Oh, shift clicking, see that there? Trying to get the lockdown, Jim. Now I don't like the very latest lockdown changes. Costs 125 energy and denies 100 energy. Now we could talk about energy regeneration rates and stuff like that, but it doesn't quite make sense to me. And also I'm a BC player, so any nerf to the BC makes me very sad. Though I can see the metagame aspects of it and the reasonings. Okay. Again, why so take a look. Dex is just sitting here, but they don't really feel any need to move. They're very strong. They don't really have reason to back off per se. I guess they were worried about Jim moving back for warp trick, but again. No worries here. Channel edited. Making a last bit edit, edit to a channel. And I guess I should say for all you fine folks watching on the stream, thanks for watching, by the way. Um, while we're going to watch this contain continue, I just want to make a, another plug for the Terran Star Battle League, which signups are open and it's starting, It's the league's going to start in October. Um, if you can't devote a whole weekend to a tournament like us, the rest of us crazy folks, you can. Sign up. I believe you can sign up individually, but you can also sign up as a team, and then you have one match, one best of three 
every week scheduled with another team. You can reschedule it when you want for when it's more convenient. And it's cross-server. So EU, UNNA. Uh, every team gets to play each other and then they go to the playoffs. And there are sweet new prizes. I've heard people say, oh, they're awesome prizes. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure they'll be awesome. Beyond the standard tournament prizes. But don't quote me. Otherwise, uh, GA and Howler, they're going to come after me. Now, this Leviathan is the saving grace for the bunnies. The bunnies may still be in this. If if Meester can just kill off one of the carriers, life gets a heck of a lot simpler. Then you don't have to worry about the double launch anymore. Let's check the farm tab, guys, because the game is changing. There we go. We have a winner. 2,000 farm for the bunnies and 2,000 farm for Dexterity. So that just goes to show you've got to be careful because you lose your farm advantage. That big drop is mostly because of losing Xanthus the Levy. But again, anything can happen in Star Battle. And in particular, I like to say, when it comes to reference of anything that happens in tournament, it's tournament. That's all that needs to be said. Random stuff happens. People show up, people don't. Massive drama. Unexpected upsets. Everything can happen. But I hope you freelancers are having tons of fun playing. If any of you are watching or watch later, hope you're having fun. Hope you're learning a lot. Because this is also fun for us because we get to break out of the standard clan v clan format. It's sort of a nice break. We have a warp trick point again by Dark Kents. Lockdown and Nuke because he maybe wants to try to finish off. Okay, and we've got a warp out by the bunnies. They know what's going on. They had scan. Levy's staying out, but he's pretty tanky, and he can just stay out maybe be act as warp trick point. Though these guys have the cooldown. St siege on the tower. Tengu's siege up. Only level 7 lasers, though. Not that much. But cut with this vortex. We'll be able to protect double vortex and bubble boat. Eventually, probably. Uh, double vortex, which is going to be a huge saving grace. So even if Meester Leviathan for the bunnies goes and tries to kill one of these carriers, well, there's only one ship that can do energy deny for the bunnies, so it's going to be impossible to deny both these carriers. And the tower is going down. Nothing, can't really do anything about it. Best Doom could do is nuke, which he's doing, which he got denied by Dark Kents, which he finally got locked down, and it proved very useful. So as a memo, when you hear nuclear launch detected, you can actually still lock down and stop it, or energy deny. So there goes the one tower and all the extra minerals that go with it. Double siege on both of these destroyers. And double siege is pre OP because they can cover each other. Cross of Acid by Bison. Getting more spore down in addition to all the spines to help with counteract the ints. I think the Leviathan should think, has Frenzy. Should think about going Acid Spray if those ints are going to cause, gonna cause problems. 16 and 19 ints. Not completely OP, but definitely a concern. Again, sieging again. And Ariel's not bothering to siege, just hanging back. He's going to farm and also make sure that Tengu doesn't get run down. Again, they're not over Dex is not overly concerned about the slowness of taking out the tower. They have the advantage of numbers and they have the double tax. They have the double tax. In addition, they have a BC with lockdown. So they have two two energy denying ships to the one. And in addition, they have two carriers, so they can energy deny the there's a tax on the BC. So will Aero he cannot siege, unfortunately. But I'm sure he would for an extra kill. So Everyone's lying. Darkhand's going to line up for the nuke. See how he's going around this? So basically, even if Jim tries to run away, he runs straight into the nuke. Perfect. Textbook. That was a textbook nuke tech. Uh, text nuke, siege, everything. <laughs> Folks. Push the team back. BC comes around just the other side. So no matter where you go, you can't run away from the, da from the damage. So there goes the energy deny for the bunnies. 
So now we're down to 5v2. We'll take a look at the farm count, but it's not going to be pretty. 1,285 farm for the bunnies and the hares, the rabbits, or the hopping rodents. And 33, almost 3,400 for decks. They're warping out, or warping in. Tried to warp out, got aggro by the farm. Tex on the levy, <laughs> might as well for good memory. Cut was trying to save himself, and he did, barely, but he did. And just heading back. He may burn down. I'm sure someone could say, can he make, can he run the whole length of the map while he's burning down like this? We'll find out. You can't warp when you're heavily damaged, so you just will have to walk back. I think he's okay. The buddies have to find a way to get themselves out of this, but folks, I don't think it's happening. But we see, because remember guys, last time I was, I was saying pretty much Dex has got this in the bag when they killed the raven and didn't happen. So it looks like they're going to go for a siege on the, on the mothership itself. Who was pinging that? It was green. That was Dark Hence, possibly proposing as a warp point. He's pushing down. He's not even trying to hide anymore. Because he knows that the threat of this entire team warping on him is enough to keep the other ships away. And Bison's trying to warp away with whatever minerals he was able to get. Scanning to make sure, okay, no one's around. Bison may be going back trying to fortify the base. Bison's taking the top route out of there. And the team's warped in. Going to push hard on Meester. Push hard on Meester Leviathan. And this does not look good, folks. Bubble boat in effect. Corrosive acid. Xanthus is going to try. I mean, sorry, Meester, <laughs> not Xanthus, a Leviathan is going to kill Armo. He's just got to commit. But then his other pal, his guardian, is dead. He can try to DPS him, but again, the text is almost up, so he's just going to get text in two seconds and then get nuked shortly thereafter. And there goes the text is almost up. There goes the nuke, and there goes Meester. And a celebratory almost text. So Dixtray takes this, takes the match. There goes the GG. So this was the, <laughs> sorry guys, the almost 7 p.m. group to bunnies versus Dex. Uh, Dex was victorious, though they did lose some ships doing so. It was a bit of a back and forth there for a bit. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will catch you for next game. Take care. And I'll give more music, don't worry. <laughs>